Hello guys and welcome back. If you're watching this video, so you're probably using ZMX motors and as far as we can know that ZMX don't have replaceable bells, but um, ZMX have replaceable shafts. So in this video, I just want to show you guys how to properly uh, change the shaft without damaging the bell and, and the shaft itself. So you really want to use the screwdriver, uh, but the, the size should be not uh, 1.5. The size should be 1.6 because as far as I can see, uh, the like there is some. Sorry, I just need to screw it back. Very. Oh, you see, I even cannot cannot unscrew it right now because like my 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 screwdriver already damaged so you really want to use 1.6 shaft oh sorry screwdriver so unscrew the shaft and remove the bell out So uh, there is uh, two sides of the shaft, five millimeters and uh, three millimeters. You just want to take uh, something soft and a small hammer like that one. You just really want to, you can just wrap it around your, your hammer so you will not damage the shaft itself and tap it from the five millimeter, five millimeter side inside the motor, like, like so. Sorry, different hand. I think this will be fine. Very carefully tapping on top and you see it already comes outside so when you replace the shaft you just doing the same way from inside and you really want to align you see this this size of the shaft that comes inside the the, uh, the bell. After that, you can just push it harder a little bit. And as far as you can see, the shaft and the bell are already aligned and you just need to tap it back to not, uh, to get rid of the small small space between bell and the shaft in the middle sorry and that's it your shaft changed and you're ready to fly A little bit tricky uh, to change the bearings because uh, it's really hard to not damage the bearing when you're changing it so I'm gonna use another another motor because all the bearings and constructions are the same so, and this is brand new motor I don't want to damage the bearing so I'm gonna take that one so as far as you can see um, there is the same construction there is two bearings inside here and what you really want to do, of course, uh, most of the times you will damage your bearing, but if you want to try to not damage it, just put some cotton inside there. And start tapping, changing the orientation of your of your taps, like a couple taps on that side.
couple steps on that side and you will see that your, mag your bearing already start coming out use some more cotton as far as you can see the bearing already come, coming outside you just need to tap a little bit more a couple of times and that's it this is the bearing as far as you can see I damage it I damage this bearing anyway it's really hard to take it out without damaging and of course you need to put inside a new one and if you cannot if you don't care about your your old bearing that you really should care about your new one when you're putting it in inside so try to push it as far you can you can inside without any kind of tools like like that just pushing on the table and it's gonna be inside there already after that just take small piece of the cotton and try to and also a little bit bigger screw like like that one screwdriver like 2.5 and just tap it from all the sides And this is how you can change the bearing, but this is quite a tricky um, thing, and you need to practice more to make it to, to do this uh, professionally without damaging the stuff. So I think that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully, this video will be useful for you. And if you know some other ways how to replace the bearings, please let me know. So. Uh, I can record another video or like just for my experience uh, thank you for watching guys subscribe like and see you next time